is just coming up to lunchtime and we've had a nice relaxing Sunday morning. Actually, I don't think we've had a Sunday morning in that for a long time where we just did nothing. Usually we have like relaxing mornings, but they're more catch up mornings, catching up on housework, emails, etc, etc, any work we've got coming up. But today, all of that was done. So we got to just literally do nothing and it was so nice. It's now just coming up to lunchtime and we've just left the house on this really miserable day. But the weather has been like this for a whole week now. It's just not stopped raining here in the UK or the part of the UK that we're in for a whole week. Mom, and it's we need just to go to America. We do as Mary to pack our bags jet yeah. off to America. We... Yeah, it's, it's super bad weather and what we've got planned for today is all outdoors. It was super fun and super Christmassy and I really still want to do it. We're just on our way now to pick up Isabel. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, then number one, make sure you go and watch it because we did the most incredible competition giveaway that's going to make someone very, very happy this year. So go and watch yesterday's video if you haven't already. But you may also not know that Isabel went for a sleepover last night. So we're just heading there now. We're going to pick her up and then decide if we're we're going to do our original plan for today or if we're going to have to change due to this weather. So we've risked it for a biscuit and thankfully we just arrived and the weather, the rain has Stopped. It was really heavy rain in the whole way here and just as we were pulling in thank heavens It stopped raining not that raining would be too bad I don't mind rain But it's obviously more comfortable when you don't have to walk around soaking wet and as this whole experience is outdoors I'd rather it not be pouring it down. So we're here today at Loverton Hall <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. We're here today at Loverton Hall for the Christmas what? experience. And it's a real, hello, is it? Is he's back? Did you have a good time at your yeah, sleepover? I did. Was it fun? Yeah. Did you get to sleep? She got, I got a text message at like 20 to 11 saying we've just woken up. It was half 10 actually. Oh, it was half 10. <laughs> came through at 20 to 11, you lazy girl. But we just got here at Loverton Hall, it's a Christmas experience, there's like a walk around Mama. and I'm not going to tell you because you guys will see. We need to get out and get our coats on. Mama. Eileen, yes? I don't think you can say, can say anything because you let us sleep in until nine. I did, didn't I? I let you sleep in until nine. My kids are so lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jump out there, sweetheart, get your I hat on. I just my coat on and my hat. Oh, sorry. Oh. Hey girls, guess what? what? No, as may definitely not snot. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? What? One week today, we'll be sat around the Christmas dinner table having our Christmas. No, one month. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> one month today, sorry. Got everyone giddy then, didn't I, eh? 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's the most flattering picture no, I've ever seen. I went on this, I went to go and I went, I went, I got to sneeze. <laughs> so first comes first, we're hitting up the penguin sanctuary to go and see some penguins, because this closes soon, right girls? Yeah. Oh look, gone. can you see any? No. I just saw some a minute ago. That water must be so cold. That's what they love though, because they live in the Arctic Circle, remember? It literally should be like, it must, it <laughs> that's very specific. It must be like so. Let's have a look up here, wow. Oh, they look so cute. That is so cute. Girls, you won't know this, but do you know I've held a penguin on my lap before? Have you? <gasps> no, he, um, he actually pooed on my jeans. <laughs> but I did, I did have one on my knee, it was quite cute. It was really cool. And they're so cute. So right now we're in the fairy dell and Isla has found I wish you well. So it's St. Gemma's Hospice. I didn't think I've got any change on me, but oh, hang on. I think I do. Here you go. Yay. I've not, I've only got 20 p as me, sorry. Go on then, Island, make a wish and throw it in. Okay, let me make my wish. Make a really good one. Yay, good job. I got it. Well done. <laughs> Let's go see if we can spot some fairies. Look how cool that is, Isla. really cool. I wish I was so tiny. Oh, yeah, I wish you could swing because I could yeah, me too, Esme. And I could go and play in all that snow. Looks very nice. So yeah. cute. It'd be like Christmas already. It would. Come on then, let's keep going, see what else we can find. Oh, what's that noise? That sounds so cool. Shh, they're coming. Oh, they can hear you, girls. Hello. Oh, looking at me. Looking at me. 
the love in it, Nick. Keep going, keep going, Ayla. Oh, lots of doesn't it? What if I got to cut through there? Oh, uh -oh. there's nothing getting past Ayla, is there? <laughs> Go on then. Whoa, that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in real life. What is it? Looks like a donkey elephant. Is it an Someone find the board because I don't know what it is and I don't want to sound stupid on camera. <laughs> I always do this, I'm not presuming. I think it's an anteater though. There actually isn't a sign anyway, guys, telling me what it is, so comment below if you know what the animal was. So, me and Isabel are taking a 10 minute breather or 10 minute rest, or I am, and Isabel's keeping me company whilst the little two are playing on the park which is like a big play park here and they've got a zip wire so Esme is just climbing onto there right now. Okay, wait, no in the art, okay I'm on, yeah. Right, three, like a... two, one. So we've just got into the elf village which is kind of like a little circle of huts that surround the whole edge of the forest around here and in each little hut there's one over there, one over there, one over here and in each hut there's like a different craft activity. Right now the girls are just heading into this one just here to go and make a Christmas plate which is super cute. Last year I think they made tea light candle holders and plates, things like that, they were really cute. They went into a nice memory box when we got home with all the other girls' memory, memory stuff that we keep as little keepsake things and so it's super cute it's really cheap as well it's like three pounds per child to do each activity so i guess it's kind of cheap so nine pounds for the girls to each make a plate and then you've got this little hut in the middle where you can just sit down under the twinkle lights and have a nice hot chocolate there's a little hot chocolate station and you can get hot dogs and things like that here too so it's really really cute last time we were here we came to this part when it was dark and it had like a completely different feel so i imagine when it gets dark it also amps up the super cute feeling. It's still really cute now, especially with the Christmas music playing too. So the girls have got their plates. What are you going to do, Isabel? Snowflakes. That's cool. What are you going to do, Esme? I was going to do There's gold. Gold. The chocolate bits. What are you going to do, Isla? I put all my snow in the Oh, that's a good idea. Esme, that's looking so good, babe. Yeah, it does I love her. That's okay, amazing. Let's have a look, Bill. Whoa. That's so cute. Yeah, she's done a little Rudolph reindeer and she's going to write something on it next. Thank you. That's and very cute. Oh, well, Isabel's busy concentrating right now. I love that. What are we doing right now, guys? We're getting a hot chocolate. With whipped cream and marshmallows. Yay! Just what the doctor I'm ordered. This to eat, to um, um, get a cream. To give it a stir with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how Christmassy it's looking now. The sun's going down, the cold's creeping in. We need some good old hot chocolates. Oh, look how good those look, girls. They look so good. Yum, yum. The girls are feeling a little bit chilly, so before we go on the Woodland 12 Days of Christmas walk, which I am very much looking forward to, we've decided to stop in this cute little teepee tent type thing and have some hot chocolates. It's so cosy and festive around here. Because Isla had wellies on this morning, she's got really cold feet, so she has wrapped herself up in one, of the covers. in one of the blankets that they've got laying around here for everybody to use. Are you feeling warm now? Yeah. Look how cosy it looks, the little lantern, all the Christmas trees are lit up. Looks so cute, doesn't it babe? It's a little hot over there with storytelling in which is so cute. They look so yummy. <gasps> has that got a flake in it? Yeah, you can get the normal one or the special one and it has, I believe it has, as well. That one we've got? Yeah. Oh, delicious. That'll warm your belly up really nice. So we just finished up having 
having some hot chocolates and we're about to head into the woods. I've had to come and find a light because this whole woods is very, very dark. What is this? Let's go see if we can find the next one. You can hear a goose. Can you hear them? Holy. doing the woodland walk and now we've come into we our, new home. our new home our new home <laughs> i wish no we've come into the love love lot 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 hall stately home and this <gasps> you get to walk around and it's so beautiful no wait who would even like go out of this house if you lived here you just want to stay here yeah, forever you just stay here forever i wouldn't mind this christmas tree though look how beautiful that is <laughs> oh my gosh, there's loads of rooms. Go on, let's walk around, girls. Imagine Christmas dinner around here. Yeah, but Prinny would get lost. I'd be like, Prinny! <laughs> this house has got more Christmas trees than us girls. Oh my goodness. Look at that tree. That's so cool. It's a spinter. Look at those. Punch and Judy. Is that Punch and Judy? I think it is. That's so cool. Look at all like, the old masks that they used to use. <laughs> This room is stunning. I want to live here. So Chris, Isabel and Esme have just gone to pick up so their weird. plates. I know, I don't know why the camera's really blue. Anyway, they've just gone to pick up their plates that they decorated from the Elf Village. And then when we've done that, I think we're all going to have a nice slow stroll back to the car and maybe go get some dinner. Everybody wants a car it. I just want rose potatoes. Rose potatoes is all I think about lately. Rose potatoes with a bit of gravy and a bit of cranberry sauce. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> all right, Isla. <laughs> so we're going to go and do that now. So we just got back home. Esme's doing some reading. Isla's getting on her pajamas, hey, little darling. Isabel is in the shower. Guys, that was such a nice dinner. We couldn't oh, manage oh, dessert. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we couldn't manage dessert because the meals there are so yummy that you just have to eat it all up. In fact, I'm probably just making an excuse as to why I've just eaten my own body weight in roast potatoes. <laughs> Anyway, that lovely, lovely, lovely Melanie and Macy sent us home with the dessert, takeaway dessert, and look how good these cakes look. This one's actually my favourite. Ho 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 Heathfield Slice. It's so good. It's got custard and cream in it. Aero one, which is looking very festive. We've got this one like cheesecake, I think she said, but it looks so good. So just before we end today's video, we need to take a quick minute and appreciate my epic Christmas jumper that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Yes, the girls bought me that a few days ago and today's my first time rocking it out and I absolutely love it Yes, Mr. Grinch. Thank you very much. So guys today we launched a massive massive giveaway competition for one of the most epic things we've ever ever given away an amazing gift for Christmas for anybody this competition is open to all ages literally from very young to very old all ages anywhere in the world the UK anywhere else in the world it's open to everywhere worldwide and this competition is guaranteed delivery for Christmas time as well if you are the lucky winner it is an incredible prize of a brand new baby rebond doll from Mary Shortle in Leeds plus a big baby bundle with its, is it the Moses basket? Yeah, the Moses basket, everything, but I'm just a bit worried because if a winner from Australia wins, mm -hmm. there's only like a week before Christmas. I don't know how long. Yeah, the competition ends on the 16th, so. Yeah, it'll be posted straight away. It will be posted the same yeah. day. Like, it'll be posted on the 17th because the competition ends on the 16th at midnight. So it'll be posted on the 17th. So for anybody, UK, mainland, it's definitely going to get to you for Christmas. Hopefully it will everywhere else. Hopefully it will everywhere else in the world, but. We can't control it. Well, obviously, yeah, we 
cat control international postage and stuff but yeah it is open to everyone worldwide so if you haven't checked that out yet go check out yesterday's vlog it went live tonight as in in yesterday's vlog by the time you're watching this and it's amazing or you can head over to maryshortle.com forward slash giveaway that's where the competition is all the details are there on how to enter and what you need to do to enter there's 13 chances to enter and win plus even more if you refer other people to enter the competition too the more times you enter the more chances you have of being the lucky winner. It's that easy and it's a crazy, amazing giveaway prize. It's not just the Baby Rebond doll and the bundle, it's also a massive iFam merch bundle too. On that note guys, we're gonna say goodnight. Everyone's gone to bed, everyone's got school tomorrow morning. It's back to Monday. By the time you're watching this, it's already been Monday. We hope you've had a wicked start to your week. Come and let us know below what you've been up to and we'll catch you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Bye.